In July 2022, I travelled with 20 students from two schools to Eswatini in Southern Africa. So with the Truant Scheme funding in 2022, um, myself and another colleague were lucky enough to take 10 students to Morocco in March and April last year for two weeks. So as part of the Turing Scheme, we travelled to Rabat in Morocco. Africa was selected for our students because a lot of our students are from a low socio-economic background and have not even travelled outside of Richmond in Blackburn. So we realised even those that have been fortunate enough to travel abroad, they've been very Eurocentric countries. So they travelled to France, Spain, not really anywhere past that. So we wanted to give them the opportunity to travel to somewhere wider with a lot more of a cultural difference than we had in Europe. And Morocco was selected and so was Eswatini. So whilst we were in Eswatini, the students had two weeks where we were involved with a local project, which was actually to do some uh, building work. Um, so the students were involved in a project to dig a drainage trench in a, a local kind of community education centre. So all students were doing some physical activity. And then in the afternoon, we did uh, kind of cultural activities where we went to a local high school and we did more kind of social activities with those people. So we went on a walking safari for one day, which the students and the staff absolutely loved. And we went hiking in the local hills. We also went to the local cinema. We went to local towns um, and to a local city. So we were very much immersed in in the local culture. So as we were there for two full weeks, the students got a taste of what education was like in Morocco. So they spent um, 10 school days there from Monday to Friday twice. So they experienced not only what uh, seeing a Moroccan school building was like and comparing that to a school like ours in the UK, but they were able to speak to other Moroccan school children as well um, with the help of an interpreter whilst we were out there as well. So they were able to have discussions about culture, about school, about home life and all things like that as well. So our students who um, participated in the trip definitely benefited on a, a whole number of levels. The first level really, I think, is, is their personal confidence and resilience. It was a tough two weeks in the fact that being so far away from home and family for two weeks in a completely new environment for them, they got through it, they helped each other, that we had home, you know, bouts of homesickness, but each of the group was supporting each other, which is really, really good to see. They absolutely know that they are more resilient than they thought they were. And I think that's definitely one of the big, big things going forward, that their their self-confidence and their resilience, they know they have kind of confronted unknown situations um, on this trip. They have thrived um, and then come back and then they've really put that into action in their year 11 life. Also, for me as a teacher, uh, reflecting on, on my experience, I mean, it was a, it was a tough two weeks as in, you know, I'm away from my family as well. We, we were responsible 24-7 for the students, but it was absolutely very, very enjoyable. I feel definitely that yeah, I've got a, a, a better um, relationship with lots of the children that have been on the trips, even the trip that I didn't attend. Um, students know that, you know, I was involved in the Turing project. It gives you that kind of that, that connection with them that we've been involved in it like a shared experience and certainly to you know it, it makes you reflect on the benefits of that we have in our schools and in our lives and it gives me you know more confidence and more resilience as well as well as the students <laughs> at the Heinburn Academy we applied for the Turing project scheme joint with three other schools so we're in like a consortium with um, William Hume Graham School in Manchester, with um, Marsden Heights Community College in East Lancashire, quite near to us um, in Richton, and then with Tomadin High School. The, the schools also joined with Kaya, it's Kaya Responsible Travel, who are an ethical tour company. And so they were very much involved in the, um, in the travel arrangements and the, um, the connections in country. 
prior to travel, we had um, um, a meeting where parents came into school and we had a, um, a Teams meeting with with Morocco, <laughs> with the staff that we'd be working with in Morocco and then a different one with the staff that we'd be working with in Eswatini. So parents before the trip were very, very aware of what was going to happen, what the safety, what the health and safety things were and that their, their children were going to be look, well looked after. During the trips, we had a, a WhatsApp group set up with the school uh, mobile phone and then every day, um, multiple times a day, we'd be doing updates with photos and kind of messages and things so that parents were always kept up to date, you know, what was happening, where we were, what we were doing. And that seemed to work extremely well, extremely well. Parents were quite happy. You know, every every morning I, I sent like the first message and then at the end of the day, I sent back photos and videos and things of what we've been doing that day. I would absolutely recommend applying for Turing Scheme funding with your school. It is an absolutely amazing, amazing experience for the students, for the staff too. It will give the students some um, some life experiences that they will just never get in any other circumstances. They will be able to use it for universities, for college, for jobs, for apprenticeships, and it will give them some life skills and broaden their horizons beyond what you could ever, ever dream of.